Hey, Margaret, it's Heather. I thought I'd take a minute to respond to your discussion board because I enjoyed reading it. I really like that kind of like you start out with the DSM, you know, of course, classifies diagnoses of, of you know, substance use disorders as mild, moderate, or severe. I like when I can like have an umbrella kind of statement and then everything that kind of falls underneath that umbrella. Meaning, you know, like it's really good to have categories. Like you want to know, you know, mild, moderate, or severe, right? You want to be able to create that, that treatment plan and also create like, are they gonna go, you know, to other support groups during the week, you know, kind of thing, or just see you independently. I think too the way that you break it down to show okay like if they have two or three symptoms their you know their struggles mild you know four or five symptoms moderate and then of course the severe is you know is kind of six you know six or more right so I think that's good to kind of kind of of course show those categories the addiction severity index that you talk about I I like the way that you explain it I would completely agree with you that the barrier there is you know, on average, that it's going to take 45 to 60 minutes. Um, I can tell you my sessions are 50 minutes. So, I mean, even if I do the Beck depression inventory, that takes a good 30, 35 minutes and you want to ground them back and safety proof and everything, you know. So I guess my question would be, okay, this is a really good index to measure, you know, the severity of everything. It's multidimensional, which you know, you know, which you've already described and it's, like you said, like the most commonly used. However, if that's the most commonly used, how would somebody approach giving it, right? Would you just create a longer session, you know, and kind of do an hour, hour and a half? Would you maybe give it to them as homework? Um, also too, I'm wondering if you found how often it's given. Um, Cause I mean, ultimately, like I gave the Beck depression inventory to one of my juniors in high school the other day. And so, um, of course, I'm going to wait two or three more sessions and then kind of give it to them again, right? So I'm wondering how often you would maybe give this to somebody. Um, I like the multidimensional kind of assessment that you call it because I did my discussion board on the multidimensional anger inventory because all the different dimensions. It was measuring anger on so many different levels, not just, oh, do you struggle with anger? You know, so I like that you put, that you point out the depth of that. You know, um, you know, like you say in your last paragraph after reviewing kind of everything that you read, you know, it definitely seems user friendly, right? Because you've got just a certain amount of questions. You know, of course, like you said, it focuses on seven, you know, seven different, you know, domains and so I think that's that's really good to get an in-depth okay let's see where this your severity is like where you're where you're struggling so I would say easy to administer I could you know like I said like I completely agree that that barrier though is going to be the time limit you know so um thanks for your discussion board I enjoyed reading it I hope you have a good weekend thanks